Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to, well, it's a very special day, isn't it? As Matt HD Gamer would say. Shall I do his intro? Today is a very special day. And I know he's not like full on like old man scouser, but anyway, get on into the episode. Welcome to a new episode of the RTG. Finger points to the sky. Today's the day because it is team of the season day. Coming out later on tonight, 6 p.m., the start of everything turning blue. So today we've got a little bit of final prep to do and then uh, gonna, again, test out this team, make sure my formation's all good for the, the weekend league, earn some rivals points uh, so that we can get ahead of the rivals points game and maybe finish higher up in the ranks, who knows? Uh, but yeah, at the start of the episode, could you do me a huge favor, smash the thumbs up button. 4,000 likes is your target today. Uh, and I mean, it's a it's team of the season day. So go ham on the thumbs up button. Uh, and don't forget as well to subscribe if you're new. Um, so like I said, today is gonna start things off with some tots prep. Now I wanted to get this 83 times 10 done. I want to open it as my first tots pack. Probably how, the way it's gonna go is gonna be uh, tomorrow I'll play some weekend league and then at the end of that video I'll do green screen last year and then at the end of the video I'll open the 83 times 10 and that is what you'll see tomorrow on Saturday your first like tots video hopefully we get one in the pack um, and then the next day we'll probably do live last year with the other 10 or 11 packs uh, as, as a uh, like a tots pack opening so hopefully we can get something from that as well that's like the goal anyway with some weekend league thrown in there so I went out and bought an 84 rated inform and I also used Diego or Diogo Dallo, uh, Dallo to put in the SBC as well. Uh, and that got me that, that SBC done, right? That's just sat there waiting, waiting for those blues to come out. Hopefully we can get it. Um, I mean, the, the chances of getting a blue from a pack like that should be a lot higher, right? Even if it was just like an EFL one. I think the chances should be a lot higher. So, hey, who knows? We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, look forward to that tomorrow. Now, next up, we're doing... Uh, I don't know. I, I like the look of this little pink kit. And then I realized I only did a kit SBC the other day as well. So, I kind of like the kit that I was already wearing. Uh, but, you know what? I might change it before the weekend league. Who knows? I might stick with what I've got. But if not, we've got a cool new pink kit that I like the look of. Uh, or pink and purple, I guess it is. Um, does he actually run out in it? I think he does this time. Yeah, Poyo runs out. Uh, so it's, it's quite nice. It fades quite well into a darker color. So I think, what would I play against that? Because it's like light at the top and then dark in the middle. Hmm. What would I, what color can I play against that? Something like, would it be a black kit or a white kit? I think that might contrast against it quite well. And the next part of the, the, the team, team and season prep is the stadium. We need to make things blue and yellow, or blue and or gold, you know, uh, so that we can get let everyone know, let the fans know that it's the change of season and we are here to pack blues, okay? Uh, so blue everything. Whatever I've got blue, it's going on blue or yellow, all right? Because it kind of looks a bit like gold. So I've got blue goal nets, blue seats with the yellow strips coming down from the stadium paint and then the, the blue around the outside of the pitch. I put a bunch of blue and white TFOs up. I think it looks all right. And then the next part of final, you know, last minute tops prep is to sell some of the like silver players that I had in my club. Because obviously we don't have many coins. I just spent 26K on an inform. So we were back under 20K again. Uh, so just selling some silvers and some bronzes that, you know, the leftover stuff in the club that was worth a little bit more than discard. Uh, I have gone ahead and done that. You know, we're up to 33 and a half right now. The more the merrier. Just get the coins up a little bit so we can start working with, with things. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to go into some rivals because like I said, you know, it's, we could test this team out a little bit more. First guy I come up against has a nice team. Uh, I would say his defense wasn't super meta. You know, like Poyol and then Ben Chilwell is, is not going to not gonna win you that many games, I don't think. But he was one of those possession players. So what do I do? I end up doing an offside trap. And uh, it's a classic lasty offside trap. I thought you guys might have missed it because I haven't done one for a while where I just do it at the wrong time and he gets through and scores a goal. So there's that, and I'm 1-0 down after three minutes, and my watch has just p 
pinged. Hold on, hold on. We put our phone on do not disturb and then nothing will ping. Sorry about that. Um, but I run down the other end. Six minutes on the clock. Ryan Kent has managed to score. Uh, he is, of course, my latest striker addition alongside Cristiano Ronaldo for this latest squad. And then Poyol knocks a lovely ball out wide to El Sharawi. Uh, El Shar to Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent to Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Kent. The keeper's running. I'm chipping him. Would I like any salt with that, that chip? Yes, I would. Thank you. That would be great. Um, but it looks like my opponent's going to get an equaliser, doesn't it? Oof, we just missed it. What's that? Counter-attack? Yes, please. Kent out wide. And this is what you get with the four triple twos. You have that wide option as opposed to the four one two one two, where I play super narrow. So having El Shirawi out one side, having Dybala out on the other side, you know, in the second half, it's like Neres and... Uh, who else do I bring on? Um, Neres and Palacio. So all very, very fast players. So this game went from kind of bad to like really, really good. Look at that finish. Oh my God, Ryan Kent. Oh my God, Ryan Kent. What a beast. Uh, yeah, 4-1 up after 35 minutes. I, uh, I pretty much guaranteed myself a win at this point, I think. Hey, I've bottled, I've bottled matches where I was up more than that, but... Uh, don't know, just felt confident whenever I was going forward. Something about the, the positions of the players in the 4 triple two, it was kind of working for me. I'll uh, I'll give Ranas that. You know, he makes a good formation, doesn't he? Um, so on comes Neres, on comes Palacio, off comes Poyol, and I even put Kleiber or Bender on at centre-back. You know, I, I, I chop and change depending on what I'm feeling like at the time. Bring on Kleiber in this particular match. Uh, and Ronaldo gets into the box, cuts it back inside, I think, to Neres. Is that? Yeah, he does. Uh, a few skill moves, and then uh, eventually we cut it back to Neres to score again on his right foot. Tom, he is left-footed. Wake up, man. Um, but hey, it, you know, he finished it, so it's all good. Kimmich then knocks it into Podolski and he chips my goalkeeper. I don't know, I kind of went as a little bit to sleep towards the end here. You can sort of see it. Like, what am I trying to... Oh, I'm just moving terribly. Real, real bad lunges and stuff. What the hell am I doing? But um, at that point, I realized, okay, he's managed to score a couple of goals. We've got a two-goal lead here. Let's not let it slip. You know, let's just wake up a little bit, sit up in your chair a little bit and uh, and keep playing. So I think we end up actually getting a final goal here. You know, Ronaldo header from a corner, nothing special, but uh, we're used to doing it because he's very, very good. He sort of rises like a salmon, doesn't he? Uh, so a 6-3 win in my first game of Rivals for the day, uh, and that's going to give me perfect points. You know, you can't ask for more than that. A win and five plus goals. Uh, that is exactly what I love to see. So that's going to equal out at 950 points, whereas one weekend league game is 400 points, of course. Uh, and I mean, there was quite a big difference, I guess, about 100 in it uh, between me and my opponent in terms of skill rating. So yeah, you know, I probably should be winning that game when I've I've got a way higher skill rating than him. Uh, but I think we go all the way from rank five, uh, six to five to four, even into rank three from our very first game of Rivals this week. So uh, I guess it's time to go in, on into the next one then, isn't it? And uh, we end up matching up against someone whose team wasn't like that crazy, um, but he was. Uh, <laughs> I, this, this is not a, a match that I'm particularly proud of, in all honesty. Uh, I Yeah, he scores, and it seems like everyone, when they go 1-0 up in Rivals, does the celebrations, which is fine. I just do them as well at that point. Um, but yeah, I, I end up going 2-0 down just before the break. And I'd had nothing in this game. You see these halftime stats coming up right now. Just just take a look at that. Absolutely obliterated. And yeah, I mean, it's only up from here, right? Oh, I suppose we could end up conceding more goals. But hopefully, we'll turn it around, make a few subs and, you know, come back in the second half. Well, I thought that was what was going to happen. Uh, but then... He just ended up going on to score a whole bunch more. Uh, again, pretty shoddy defending from myself. But hey, you know, doing it during the week in Rivals is fine. It doesn't matter that much. You know, it's when it comes to doing that in the weekend league and then you end up losing a game and that sets you on, on tilt and then, you know, you go down that horrible, stressful, ragey road. And then uh, that's not what you want to see. So, you know, we... we 
we don't really mind too much in Rivals. I was still smiling, uh, even though, as you can see, it just kept getting worse and worse. And I've literally left a clip in here uh, from when he scores then with Messi, and then we take the kickoff. Uh, we even go to try and push forward here and get a goal, uh, try and knock it through to Ronaldo. And then he literally counterattacks, kickoff style, and ends up scoring yet another one. Uh, and it was 3v2. I guess at this point, I had, after about 60, I think after the third goal, I went on like ultra, ultra attacking, you know, uh, constant pressure and that stuff. And, and that just did not work for me. Uh, it, I went from 3-0 to 7-0 uh, in the end and all within the space of the second half. Uh, so yeah, I don't even score a goal against this guy and I lose 7-0. So I guess maybe the 4-3-1-2. And I mean, I was up against someone that was just way better than me. I think he ended up having a lower skill rating, but I don't believe him. I think maybe he... Uh, I think maybe he had uh, been relegated or something. There's no way. Oh, no, he had a slightly higher one than me, but only by two. We were supposed to be level matched, and that just was not the case. He was way better than me. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You know, like I said, we can just go on into the next match. We still get 150 points from that game, so we're still above. With the first two games, we're still above what we would have got in the weekend league. Uh, and if we score some goals here, then hopefully we'll, you know, take that that rivals rating up a little bit even more. Uh, so, Kent has the ball. He, he sees he sees Ronaldo making that perfect run. So we just knock it through to the Portuguese. Uh, and he is there to score on his left foot. Lovely goal. Uh, Vidal doing God's work right there. Just intercepting like a madman. Rooney plays it through to, an uh, you know, again, Ronaldo making that perfect run. And this guy's defense was up fairly high, which is why we were able to do that. Um, but then again, we're also playing on eight depth. So I am liable to counterattacks too, which, you know, my opponent doesn't exactly counterattack me here but you can see my defense is playing pretty high um and hugo sanchez was able to actually just bend one into the back of the net lovely goal from him but ryan ken i mean that's kind of lucky that's that right there is even luckier you do get you do get that that luck factor with ryan ken i have to say and i love every single minute of it so with three one up at half time i think we sort of deserve it uh but it's a super even match so Second half could literally go either way. I could see myself losing, you know, 5-4. Uh, but my opponent is the one to, to strike next. Hugo Sanchez turns the defender again. Obviously, he's got a cracking finish uh, with the 93 shooting on him. And that's what we're going to start seeing a lot more of. You know, these TOTS cards are going to come out. And some of them are going to have ridiculous high 90s shooting. Uh, and just before the end of the match, you know, 78 minutes on the clock, we're able to just round this one out. Uh, and get the win. 4-2. Uh, How unfortunate for my opponent, you could say. Uh, so that's nearly maximum points. It's definitely more than a, a game of weekend league. All of us, all, every single shot that went on goal that game actually went on target from both me and my opponent. So I'm proud of both of us. Uh, and actually, it means the goalkeepers were doing okay as well. So, yeah, big mismatch in the skill rating there. Apparently, that's the only type of people I can beat right now. Um, but, yeah, that's down to the matchmaking. That's not down to me. And we're at 1,960 points. Pretty good. We would have been at 1,200 points after three games a weekend league. So, uh, yeah, we've taken that up just a little bit. And it's time to grab a new stadium theme for level 19 rewards. I chose the sketch pad for everything else, so I just thought I'd uh, keep the set going and choose that one. It's sort of a little bit more related to football, I guess. Uh, uh, I might put that on, actually. It might be a, a lighter color scheme to go with the blue and the yellow in the in the tots theme stadium. Is it time to get rid of the Botafogo uh, stadium theme? I can't get rid of the badge, though. Surely not. No, I think I keep the badge. Uh, so a few more silver things sold are up to nearly 40k. I uh, can list up. You know, the ones that didn't sell just dropped their price a little bit. Uh, there's, I've still got some in my club, and I've still got not many bronzes, actually. The only bronzes I've got are rare, and I don't have many of them left uh, just because of the upgrade packs or SBCs that were out a couple of weeks ago. I really went to town on them, and uh, I haven't done bronze pack method for a long, old time. So if these guys sell, you know, who knows, we'll be out sat nearly like 45k or something, uh, which is what we started the episode on. So me selling those silvers was effectively has, uh, has you know, taken the cost off of that inform I bought to complete the uh, 83 times 10 pack. So really looking forward to Tots coming out later on tonight. 
I'm sorry that this has been, you know, like a Rivals episode and stuff, but we did a few things at the start of the episode, which were like last minute TOTS prep things, um, and you guys can take advantage of doing similar stuff to get yourself ready as well. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, times become crazy. Uh, TOTS, TOTS gets a little bit mental, so uh, expect expect the, the RTG episodes, hopefully, to just get better. Uh, you know, if, if we can start using crazy players, I'm sure I'll come up against a bunch of TOTS players uh, in the weekend league this week. But I know that my squad right here, right now, is solid. And I know that community TOTS, yeah, it might be great. But my team right here is very, very good. So uh, I doubt I'm going to get out-teamed that much this weekend. If it happens and I match a full TOTS squad, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, and of course, when it comes out... Let me know on my social media. Come follow me on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Uh, like who you are able to pack. If, you're a, if you've saved any packs and you managed to pack a blue. I want to know who you get. Uh, but at the end of the episode, all you can do to make me happy is to smash a thumbs up. 4,000 likes is your target. Happy Tots Day. Looking forward to it later on tonight. And we'll start with that sort of content tomorrow on the channel. Uh, who knows what we're going to get. But I'm sure it's going to be a fun time. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here. And then, as always, like I said, you know, come down into Twitter, Instagram. Let me know by showing me what you pack. You know, take a picture of it on your phone or whatever. I'm curious to see what you guys get uh, with your saved up packs uh, from however long you've been saving them. But anyway, hope you have a great day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Enjoy TOTS tonight. Don't, not too many of you on the servers, please. I don't want them to crash. Want to be able to open my packs, right? Anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.